on my way to Kaziyama National Park with my cousin brother, my dad and my uncle. And this is awesome. We are in the Jeep ride and look at the view outside. So, now I'm going to talk about World Runner Day. World Runner Day is celebrated on 22nd September. It is the awareness for the five rhino species and the work being done to save them. Since 2011, World Runner Day has been celebrated internationally on 22nd September. This year on World Runner Day, people made a decision to burn all the rhino horns that have been hurt. And that's very awesome. Look at this. These are some one-horned rhinos that are very rare and found only in certain countries. And I'm in Kaozhiroga National Park, which is in Assam. And this is a very, very nice view. So I'm in Kaozhiroga National Park that is in Assam, as I said earlier. And this is also really, look at this. This is a 60-year-old rhino. We saw many families. And this is just a small lake and also it was an elephant sighting. I mean an animal fish sighting stuff. Uh, we didn't see anything. But it was awesome. And I really learned a lot. Uh, this place is amazing. And this is a 60 year old one horn rhino. Look at this. Look at that. And this is the view when we are coming back. This is very, very awesome, I have to say. This is a very nice view. And one horned rhinos are very rare found in certain countries. And did you know that rhinos never, ever sweat? They never get, like, one drop of sweat. You know, they are very fascinating. I love rhinos. After I visited rhinos in the Cultural National Park. <laughs> And this is the jeep we're coming. Look at this. We have found multiple families everywhere. We found them near the lakes and everywhere. We found multiple families of rhinos everywhere. Everywhere we look. So now I'm going to go to the orchid park. Hey guys, so now I'm going to Kaziranga Park Orchid Park. So now we're going to an orchid park and I'm really excited because I've never seen an orchid park before. Haven't I have seen those rhinos too? So let's. I'm just gonna give you guys a tour of the orchid park. Okay, guys. So now I'm at the orchid park, and wow, well, look at all of these plants. These are so awesome. And look at this. This is the Venus flytrap. So the Venus flytrap has leaf like leafy things which trap insects it's kind of like a mouth where they can just trap and eat insects wow i just think like venus flytrap is my most favorite insectivorous plant i mean in my opinion so these are some very common plants and these over here are some common orchids found in forests grasslands jungle type areas too and look at these over here. This is the spider orchid. And this is another orchid over here. Okay. This is the yellow sun orchid. And over here, this is the spider orchid. And this is the pitcher plant. So the pitcher plant has pitchers hanging above the leaves. And they have nectar inside. So that nectar has an aroma. So when the insects catch, get hold of the aroma... They actually go inside the pitcher to see what's happening and they get trapped in the pitcher and the plant just gets to eat everything. And look at this. This is the blackberry orchid over here. Look, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, there it is. The blackberry orchid. And this is just some white orchids, red orchids over here. These are very, very, very beautiful. Wow, these are amazing. I have to say, orchids have now become my second favorite plants after Aster. You know what I'm talking about? And then this is the dancing woman orchid. Dancing woman orchid. So this actually looks like a woman who is dancing. Am I right? Look, look at this. Yeah, it actually looks like a woman who is dancing. This is called the dancing orchid. So now, we're going to go at the Assamese Museum. 
and look at this this is how we actually used to sew clothes before there were sewing machines and other stuff look so this woman is actually demonstrating how we used to do it this is called the throw shuttle loom as you can see over here it's written and this is how we used to make shawls clothes shirts everything we used to wear look at this wow this is so fascinating and amazing a very interesting technique i have to say and wow look at this so she's just switching out some uh, threads and she's making a shawl over here right now and look this is amazing so like subscribe share hope you enjoyed and i'm gonna see you guys next time bye